Hello. Um, I am Inno. This is the very, very long named Kingdom Hearts game, but I'm not going to repeat because Mio did such a good job earlier with it. <laughs> um, might as well just get right into it here. Uh, time starts right when I hit confirm here. So three, two, one, go. So, quick little explanation of what this game is. It is a little game that was released as part of the 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue for the Kingdom Hearts games, uh, essentially just serving as a precursor to what became a lot of the mechanics in Kingdom Hearts 3 that you just saw, as well as explain what the heck was going on with Aqua for the last 10 years in between Birth by Sleep and her showing up in Kingdom Hearts 3 again. Um, so in terms of actual gameplay, it is a lot more simplistic than Kingdom Hearts 3, but it's still got some pretty nice quick kills and movement tech to it as well. Okay. It's also got a lot of cutscenes to skip, so get very used to that. That was, that was a really good Shadows fight. Yeah. But yeah, so at the start of the game here, I have pretty much no tools to work with, just guard and regular attacks. Um, soon enough, I will start getting the rest of my moveset, and then things start becoming a lot more interesting. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, those can go very wrong. Uh, the shadows just refuse to group up for you because the fastest way to kill them is with the counter attack with the guard. Otherwise, they take two normal hits, which are very slow to do on such a big group. Alright, I can skip this one. You can skip this. <laughs> So that is just a little intro to the objective system in this game. Uh, we're going to see none of that. We might see one or two pop-ups with it, but uh, not something we actually go after here. Um, if you play this game casually, though, you can dress Aqua up in a lot of really cute outfits, so... And yeah, so here we just have to hit these gears uh, to make the clock tower work, because obviously making the clock tower work brings the bridge back. Because it's King of Hearts. Um, but otherwise not too, too much going on here. Uh, so, Neil, if there's a donation or anything you want to read out there, or if there's any incentives you want to shout out. Try my best down here. <laughs> please, please, please be, be, be patient. <laughs> Put you on the spot there. We yeah, we've got a couple of incentives going. Uh, Final Fantasy IX is coming up. A couple of fun incentives there. Um, choose a name for the main character. Uh, currently, Babe is winning with fifty dollars. T Pain um, trailing with twenty. Can still take some new suggestions there or vote for one that you like. Um, and. Uh, we've got Spyro Year of a Dragon, Big, he Big Head versus Flat Spyro, uh, Flat Spyro objectively being the best of course and is rightfully in the lead, um, but a couple of incentives there for you to donate to, all going towards Game or Cancer, um, just such a wonderful cause, so make sure we get those donations in. Awesome, thank you. So, almost done with the little gear segment here and then we'll be into our first boss fight. Um, again, bosses are going to look very similar to the Kingdom Hearts 3 run, as a lot of them are like copy-pasted from this game into KH3. Yeah. 
we have actually just had a $50 donation from just another poppy saying from everyone at a gentle requiem we're cheering you on and wishing you the best of luck on your 0.2 run crush them demon towers ps you're on your 16th warning for skipping a week of final <laughs> fantasy 14 uh, thank you thank you adrian and all of the guys at the free company uh jay i'm sorry that i have missed a week of final fantasy 14 um you can hate me because when i get back i still won't finish endwalker <laughs> So that is all of the gears done, and I have now got my full move set. So, um, again, uh, we got the magic shot locks now, so I'm going to be using those for pretty much every single boss fight now. And speaking of bosses, the first one is the Demon Tower. Uh, this one, sadly, is not a barber shop, so... to continue to be okay. um, So the demon tower fight is very weird for this game. Um, when it is attacking, the boss actually gets armor added to it. Uh, it's the only one in the game that does this, is this specific uh, boss type. Uh, which, spoilers, we will be fighting another one later, which is a lot more aggressive. That wasn't too, too bad there. Um, and yeah, I kind of get a nice overview of the general flow of boss fights using a lot of magic to get the grand magic. Uh, shot locks are kind of just the filler that you do in between for extra damage. So now we have the only kind of segment that actually has skips, so to speak, with it. Um, there's supposed to be platforms that I spawn in this area using these mirrors, um, but for our three of the four mirrors, we can just completely ignore them using uh, some very precise timing of our air slides. Uh, if I may jump in, we do have a $15 donation from Chest Key. Uh, it says, let's go Inno. The Fat Tips and Scream server is all cheering you on. Show these hearts who the real kingdom is, with Fox as your lovely sidekick. <laughs> Thank you guys. Alright. Just a reminder, we do currently still have a $3,000 donation match going from a bear with a shotgun. So, any donations made um, up for about another $2,000, uh, will all be doubled, so oh no. make sure you get those donations in, take advantage of that wonderful match. <laughs> oh, I went way too early there, unfortunate. Uh, so this is the first of a series of three fights here that have a very nice quick kill to them based on that sound cue of her laughing there. Unfortunately, I did go a little bit too early and screwed it up, but that's fine. Yes, that still went very well anyways. Now we have these stairwells, which there's a pseudo puzzle to it. It's you know, just kind of run up the staircase three times in a row. And then the mirror 
is just behind us. But they do use a trick there and they make you think it's up at the top. And then you feel silly if you miss it. There we go. So that's what's supposed to happen there in the first fight that I screwed up. Yes, hold on. That's a very good fight. Alright, so for this next fight, we're actually going to abuse the triggers for the uh, style change, the spell weaver here. So that's a very precise thunder to stack up the gauge but not fully fill it um, which we are going to actually fill it off of these like pillars here uh, and I'm going to carry that into the next fight for the quick kill for it Nice. Right. Um, so yeah, that strat does only work with the Spellweaver style change. Um, for whatever reason, the regular attacks do not stun the same way. So, you can technically that fight a little bit faster if you get lucky and get a Fire Raja Grand Magic. I did not, but that is okay. It's not. It's like a five second time loss, honestly. It's not too big of a deal. have the first of the dark side fights. Again, another one with a really nice quick kill if I can do it properly here. And I did not get what I needed here. That's fine. Not quite how it's supposed to go, but still a very good fight. Um, yeah, as you can see, a lot of these fights go by very quickly uh, here. Yeah, it's another good little downtime spot if you had any other donations there. Yeah, I might just take the opportunity to remind everyone of the amazing prizes that we've got going um, at this event. So, we do have a number of prizes uh, for anyone who donates. Um, anyone within Australia who donates at least $10 will automatically go into running to win one of our Steam game bundles. Um, we do have five different bundles available to win. 
So lots of different opportunities there. Uh, for all information on those, make sure you head on over to prizes.ozspeedruns.com um, and you can see all the details. Alright, so I did just pick up the singular item that I use in the run, which will be saved for the final boss. Um, uh, the world record holder picks up a second while ether there. Um, I just don't, I haven't learned the, their new route with that. Um, saves a little bit of time getting it because obviously going into MP recharge is very slow when all of your damage comes from magic, so. Yeah, so coming up is the second dark side fight, uh, and it's also the first real fight um, with a DM to it. Um, so with it, ideally I should be able to skip it here, do enough damage uh, to just kill the boss outright. Well, that's not a good start. Um, we'll see. It's a little tricky. Hand didn't want to cooperate there. I do have a question because I don't really know much about this game, if I may. Yeah. Are you playing as Sora or Roxas right now? Uh, actually, this is Ventus. <laughs> <laughs> um, the better question is, what is the Kingdom Hearts? Um, nobody knows, but it's a very great question to ask. Oh, no. How many Kingdom Hearts are there? Um, That's at least at least three. <laughs> if you mean like the object in the game or the games themselves, that's the same answer. All right, so that was pretty decent fight. Not quite how it's supposed to go, but I didn't get the DM, so I was like two seconds away from it going invincible. So. All right, so second Demon Tower, no real breaks there. Um, this one, like I said, is a lot more aggressive than the first one. It's supposed to be, apparently, um, by using mostly blizzards, it won't attack nearly as much. Um, I've seen some success with it, some not. It still seems pretty random with it. Um, so a lot of the damage um, will actually come from, if I can get lucky and get it early, uh, there's a new style change now that we have uh, Mickey Mouse here. Uh, there it is, Wayfinder. Um, so this just teleports me right to the boss when I hit the attack button, and Mickey also comes in for his own hit. So you can see the damage does stack up very fast with that just instant teleportation. Um, get it to about there, and finish, so. That was a very, very good fight. It normally goes a lot slower than that because it does like to attack a lot more. So I am quite happy with that one. And then, yeah, already we are coming up to the final boss. So just the last little stretch of cartwheels here. I think her arm ever gets tired doing this. <laughs> You'd think so. Alright. So again, this next boss will again look very familiar for Kingdom Hearts 3. It's the Demon Tide. It's not nice. So, uh... I need to beat the DM on it, or I just essentially have to watch a two-minute cutscene, so... Hey, 
um, I guess I can kind of explain some of the differences too with their versions. Um, so obviously I'm playing on PC, uh, there's also PlayStation 4, 5, uh, and then Xbox as well. Um, the main differences that come into play are when it comes to the frame rate, because uh, very specifically the shot lock mechanic is tied to your frame rate. The lower your frame rate, the faster the bar actually drains, um, but the numbers don't go up any higher there, so you end up actually losing a lot of opportunities with the shot lock by playing at a lower frame rate. Um, in the sense that uh, with the start of this fight you saw I could do two full 28 charges there. Um, at a lower frame rate you most of the time cannot get that. You're usually going to get a 28 and a 26. I'm going to actually focus a little bit here because now I am actually on the clock if I do not beat this boss. Soon it will DM and I'm going to be very sad. Uh, you are being very mean to me. Alright, so unfortunately, a uh, little bit low on damage there. Uh, it going into its second phase is also pseudo-random. It can essentially do it at any point below, uh, I believe, its 6 health bar. Um, and it did it very early for me there, so... Yeah, it was very hard to stack up the damage enough to beat this, so... Any time for a couple of donations? Uh, yeah, probably still got like another minute of this, so. Cool, so we have $15 from Paragon, who says whip is towards Hollow Knight Path of Pain, colon free. And $15 from Gutter Giver, uh, who says here's another one for Fox, because I'm not staying up till that late. Pretend right, I sent this at the time okay, of your Sorry, that's start. time there. <laughs> a little bit less time than I thought there. <laughs> Just finishing the donation read there. Yeah. Also, I got a mention of a fine folk over at Bad Tips and Dream. Got good luck and good night. You're both doing great. Uh, those donations have also just put up over the $11,000 mark raised for Game on Cancer. Um, also, sorry, very, very important. I forgot this game does explain why Mickey Mouse does not have a shirt at the end of Kingdom Hearts 1. Uh, we don't get to see that cutscene, but. He doesn't have a shirt for some reason. The Saiyans will explain it later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oops, wrong lots of cutscenes. So, unlike KH3, we don't actually use the in-game timer for 0 0.2, but it is always something that I like to just check at the end there, because sometimes the in-game time can be higher than the RTA time, which is always very funny to see at the end of a run. 2017, so very close actually. Only 11 seconds off. Alright, we'll see. Yeah, so that is 0 0.2. Um, nice, that is all for me there. Thank you so much for having me here. Shout out to ASM. Uh, and again, thank you so much for all my friends giving the donations there. Coming up next, we will have the Oz Speedruns News Network recapping day three here at ASM 2024, so stay tuned.
Hey Oz Speedruns community, I'm Steph from the Game on Cancer team at Cure Cancer. I wanted to say a huge thank you for all your generosity and support over the past two years. In that time, the Oz Speedruns community has raised more than $100,000 for Cure Cancer. These crucial funds help kickstart bright new ideas from emerging researchers across Australia to find cures for all different types of cancer. If you'd like to learn more about the cancer research projects your donations have funded, you can visit our website. Thanks again for your ongoing support and enjoy the stream.
right, everyone, it's that time again uh, for Oz Speedrun's news network. So I'll send you over to Kenora to recap today's events. Take it away.